Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 is finally out, and while we're a bit late, with the help of Samsung Next Level Racing and some goodies from Thrustmaster, we're gonna try to fly a plane. Not just me, we're gonna bring some other LMG team members over, and um, given that we've all probably never flown a plane, I think it's gonna be a complete and utter show. I can't get this out of the box. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's do this thing. LTTstore.com. We actually built that motion setup a few weeks back on an LTT video, but that was really meant for sim racing. This time around, we're trying to do flight sim. So we've definitely got to make some adjustments. I've already stripped the wheel and everything off, and we've got the new brackets for our flight setup. So all we need is the flight setup. Our friends over at Thrustmaster were able to send over their T16000M flight pack, so it's gonna include the flight stick, throttle control, as well as rudder pedals. Um, again, I've never flown a plane, so how useful these are gonna be for us is <laughs> TBD, but hopefully it should make it a little easier than just using a keyboard and mouse. Oh, oh boy. Was that important? Yep. To coincide with the Flight Sim 2020 launch, Thrustmaster actually made some cool Airbus editions of these peripherals, but they only had the flight stick in stock when we asked for it, so we got their Airbus flight stick, and then we're gonna use the rest of their regular flight pack for our setup. Okay, so there we've got our rudder pedals, our throttle control, and the flight stick. Woo, do I look like a pilot now? Is that a no? <laughs> This control configuration is what's known as a HOTAS, or hands-on throttle and stick. Um, in a lot of airplanes, what you probably see is a yoke, um, and that might be more accurate for most of the planes, but I really wanted to try out Airbus's A320 in the new flight sim, which they use a flight stick and a throttle. Um, and I guess we've got the Airbus specific edition here. Maybe let's unbox that too. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, these look pretty similar. We've got some dials that I don't know what do. We've got some buttons that you presumably can program. The switches look a little different and it's got a different paint job, I guess. Pew, 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 pew. We're not dropping any bombs out of an A320, I hope. The construction of all of this is pretty plasticky. Um, for the price though, I think this full set with these three pieces is about 260 bucks US. That's pretty cheap for what you're getting. So I wouldn't expect it to be full metal construction for that kind of money, but all of the motion feels pretty good. These aren't exactly on the bottom tier of what you might find for a flight stick. We do at least have a Hall effect sensor in this, which is gonna give you a little bit more accuracy than like an analog stick that you might get for 50 bucks on Amazon. But uh, I think we just need to plug it in and try it out, right? Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. HelloFresh, if you haven't heard of it, is a meal kit delivery service that allows you to create delicious meals by just following the step-by-step -step recipes that they provide. They source fresh, pre-proportioned ingredients, and you can tell them what you don't like, and they'll make sure they recommend something delicious to you. HelloFresh gets delivered straight to your door, and if you use the promo code SHORT80, or click the, hey, what are, short it, oh, short circuit, not, it's not about me, okay, whatever. Short 80, or click the link in the description below, you'll get $80 off and free shipping. To take off, press, okay, we're gonna give more throttle. Oh, 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 who's buying me lunch now, boy? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh. Um, I think there's probably some things I would want to adjust usually. Um, oh man, we're going down, boys. <laughs> we're back on the ground. <laughs> Why wasn't I getting any speed? <laughs> Break. Break. No. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> no. I, just, I just rolled the plane. <laughs> Whoa, what in the hell? What just happened? <laughs> no. Oh my God. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I saved it. David, I saved it. What just happened? Did you see that? My goal, once I took off, was to go visit the LMG office. Look at the, the detail in the buildings. Let's try to, I'm gonna try to go down and get a little closer here. This is probably a terrible idea. Oh, you overstressed the aircraft and caused critical damage. The, the chair's friggin' sick. Actually, I wonder what happens if we do a barrel roll. Oh, jeez. Oh, balls. We did it. 
I think it's gonna take too long to get to the actual city, so what about we try and just land on one of these buildings here? Sure. We might not have the skill, but we do have the can-do attitude. Yeah. I keep on missing because when the chair moves, my stick moves. And then, yeah, we're, we're done. <laughs> Pause. Ready, set, go. Okay, we're good. We're going pretty straight here. Ah, we're flying! My feet don't touch. Alex, what have you done? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to. Yeah, we've got this. Vaccine, we're moving, we're moving. Okay. 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 No! <laughs> yeah, we've got this. <laughs> I don't know! I'm trying to move! Isn't this how you can how you steer the plane? Uh, I just need to take off and then I could probably experience it. If I crash again, I'm done. Oh, I'm already in the air. Perfect! Perfect! This is how real pilots do it, right? They just start in the air? Totally normal. Okay. Can you do barrel rolls in this? Yep. Oh! <laughs> I just dipped down and I got really scared. What? What? You overstressed the aircraft and caused critical damage. All right, whatever. I would love to have this set up in the lounge. I'd probably never leave. I would just explore the world. I would never travel again. I would just go all over and be like, I've been there. You know what I mean? Oh. I think I have enough speed. So I'm gonna lift the tail. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard to number 69. That's where we did the uh, photo challenge. <laughs> okay. Slow down a tiny bit. Oh! Uh, uh, didn't make it this time. So this is uh, my first time playing Flight Sim. I tried it once earlier before the camera was rolling. I got off, I tried to do a trick in the middle of uh, Beijing and it didn't go so well. What's going on? Whoa! I don't like that sound. It sounds like my plane's dying, but. Ooh, no, 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 no! Oh, God! Oh, no, I'm not gonna make that. That's way too short. Oh, I crashed. Okay. Well, I can't fly a plane. Surprise, surprise. Clearly, this is one of the coolest gaming experiences that has come out in a long time. Uh, we've definitely gotten some feedback. Maybe we should have this in the lounge. I don't really know if there's space. Um, and I might take it home myself, but yeah, this is awesome. So get subscribed if you want to see more content like this. Let us know in the comments what you thought of our flying experience. And uh, I'm kind of sad I didn't get to see The Office, but uh, maybe somebody else did. <laughs> hmm.